The format for this video will be some information, and a few bits of gameplay. I haven't been on PF for a while, so please don't take my horrible gameplay for what the gun is like. Welcome to ranking the DMRs and Phantom Forces, let's jump into it. In 8th place, we have the Beowulf TCR. This weapon may have high damage, but high recoil and high bullet drop makes this fall behind even the SL8 in most areas. Along with this, it doesn't really have an obvious range to use it at, as it isn't suited for a long range, and a small magazine and high recoil makes it bad for close range, and at medium range, even the SKS is better than this. In 7th place we have the SL8, you could switch this with the Beowulf, but it has more spammability, it's a better suited for a long range G36, and with the SL9 conversion, I feel this gun is somewhat viable, with a one tap headshot. In 6th place, we have the MK-11. I know some people class this as a god tier weapon, but for me, the fire rate and the off recoil makes it hard to use, it seems good on paper, but it's hard to master. In 5th place, we have the Message 90, this is basically a worse SCAR SSR, it has a respectable damage range, and damage, but fire rate and mag size really lets it down. In 4th place we have the SKS, this is a very spammy gun, and I like that, it's just a better SL8 with less bullets, it's decent at medium range, and viable is CQC, I wouldn't recommend going long range though.
In third place, we have the VSS, this gun is a beast in close range, being able to go full auto, but at long range, it falls of point, with a low magazine capacity and bad muzzle velocity. In second, after some thought, I put the SCAR SSR, it's not what you would think for second, but the higher oil and low movement speed, along with heavy handling, makes this gun only suited for a long range, as well as the recoil. And in first place, we have the SA-58 SPR, and it's not because I'm a full fanboy, it because it's good at all ranges, a good muzzle velocity, a good fire rate, high damage, and good for CQC, not to mention with the 45 ACP conversion it makes it a 2 tab CQC to the torso, it's just the best DMR in my opinion. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this informative, if you want a more in-depth guide to a particular weapon, drop it in the comments.